The Bible says that in Psalms 37, 4, and 5 that um, if your ways are committed to Him, meaning the Lord, that He will give you the desires of your heart. And the Lord gave me that back in 1976, just moments before my son Job was born. And um, throughout the years, He has been very faithful. I did commit my life to Him and uh, tried to the best of my ability to... Um, follow him as closely as I could through his word and through prayer and, and seeking him and trying to be faithful in the things that he has given me to do and the things that he has placed in my hands to work with. But it hasn't always been easy. I've had my ups and downs just like anybody else. The storms of life have come and rocked the boat quite a bit at times to the shaking of my faith at times. But I realize more and more that my foundation was firmly set a long time ago in the Word and in Jesus Christ and the power and the blood of, from His cross and um, because of that I have been able to weather the storms um, not completely unscathed I have scars from those those storms of this life but they have they're there to remind me of the things that God has brought me through we have just come through um, uh, a, a growing spurt, I think, in the Lord. Um, God has kind of turned our, our world upside down, but not in a, in a tremendous way, because um, it, it didn't shake our foundation. It's just, uh, I think it was just a matter of Him trying to show us that we needed to grow in, in other areas, and that Steve and I both needed to grow together and so he has taken us out of our comfort zone and has placed us in another work that um, we are beginning to find out more and more each day as we go by, as each day goes by, that he has, is in this and that um, he's got a new work for us to do. And it was my desire from, from day one, uh, when I first committed my, my life to the Lord in my heart, back in 74 to um, for Steve and I to work together and in fact I had dreams that we were working in the vineyard together but um, things have happened and it seemed like we was both kind of going our separate ways in the same direction and, and towards the same goals but it's not like we were to walk in the same path together and uh, so because I saw things a little bit differently than what he did and vice versa but now God has brought us together and we are together as one in spirit as well as in body being a husband and wife and it's the most amazing transformation that God is bringing about um, I haven't yet found my niche Steve's finding his niche in in this new work I haven't quite I'm not quite there yet but it's kinda like God's giving me a breather and a time of rest before um, he opens up the doors for my ministry and somehow me and Steve's ministry together I'm not sure how God's gonna work that but I'm really excited because I know that he is moving in our lives and um, each day I see Steve growing more and more um, in tune with what God wants him to do instead of him telling God what he wants to do for him and uh, so I am just really thrilled at what at God at God's work in our lives, and I know soon that the, the the greatest desires of my life have been that Steve and I walk this walk together and have a work together, but also to see our children come and work and, and be strong in the Lord, and to see them growing in in, in their own ministries. And uh, I see that God is starting to move in those areas. It's taken a long time. They walked away from the Lord years ago. And um, as they was all getting close to that age of accountability, that age of um, being out on their own, you know, 18, whatever, I told the Lord, I said, you know, all these years they've been going to church and serving you because I made them. You know, I can't make them serve you, but I did make them go to church because my belief was and still is that faith comes 
by hearing and that of the word of the Lord and the way for my children to know what the Lord thus saith the Lord and his word was to um, get them to church I felt like that was my responsibility as their mother and um, it wasn't always a happy time in our home because they they rebelled against that but you know my home my rules and uh, so as I was getting close to 18 and ready to leave out on their own I told the Lord I said Lord I know they've been coming for me and because of me I said now Lord that they're going out I want them to find you and to love you for themselves not because you know mom says but because you, they have that your love and your drawing Lord and and your blessings for themselves and uh, I see God moving in this and it's really thrilling to me to see them and seeing how God is moving um, this is kind of like my journal today um, <laughs> I didn't even introduce myself I'm Pat Skinner with Pat Skinner Music Ministries and uh, these are just some of my thoughts this is kind of my my video blog per se don't know what I'm going to do with it yet I don't know if I'm going to post this out there in cyberspace or not but just for those who do see this um, if I sh decide to uh, put it out there just know that God loves you and that he sees your desire to serve him sees your desires um, and he, if you commit your way unto him he's faithful and he will answer in his time just be patient sometimes it doesn't seem like he's ever going to move but if you just wait on him trust his word stay steady and steadfast in his word and seeking him seeking his will in your life and not your own will then he is going to give you the desires of your heart whatever it may be my desire aside from um, seeing my family in and serving him with me was also to have a music ministry and um, it took a long time for that to come to fruition but I kept hanging on to that you know that commit your way unto me and I will give you the desires of your heart and I stayed with that and I held on to that and God has opened up so many doors for me not to be you know I make a name for myself but to give back to him through song um, because I'm not an eloquent speaker but I can speak songs that speak my heart and I sing them out um, I'm not a great singer I'm not a fantastic singer but I have a heart for the Lord and I have a heart uh, for music and God has allowed me to use those two loves and those two passions for him and not only for me but um, the, the tools that God has given me to use with my Pat's Praise TV program is to allow other um, like um, servants of God who have a desire to use their vocals their their music abilities for him and for his kingdom um, he's he's given me that to help them and uh, not not to pursue um, a name for myself or make um, myself a any great thing but to allow me to help others get their message out there because we all have a message and we all have our own ways to doing it. And my, I can understand the music ministry message more than I could uh, someone who who preaches. I've not been called to preach. Um, I'm not an eloquent speaker, so I don't think I could ever speak uh, or preach. I might be able to talk, but not to get up there and, and preach a, a, a fiery sermon. But I can sing a song from my heart that may touch someone out there, and I've seen that happen. And um, it let me know that God will take my desire and use it to bless someone else. So if you have a desire to work for the Lord, to do something for the Lord, it just hang in there. God will give you the desires of your heart if you commit your way unto Him. God bless you, and I hope uh, I haven't just been rambling on for nothing. I just wanted to share my heart with you today. God bless you. It's Pat Skinner from Pat Skinner Music Ministries, Pat, Pat's Praise uh, Gospel Music uh, TV Program, and Pat's, Pat's Praise Blog Talk Radio. God bless.